Hi guys and welcome back to Koi Life. Today we're going to be having a look at this and this is the Salex RDA from Eden Mods and this is designed and manufactured in the UK. Um, Eden Mods, they've been around for some time now. Um, they do have the Snapdragon RDA, um, the Rose tanks, the Trillium sub -ohm tank that takes uh, just a fuck ton of different coils um, and now they have the Salex RDA and um, this one is a little bit different to what we're used to from Eden Mods but it is brilliant um, it does you do get the option of a little slammed cap as well which you'll see a bit more of down in the up close the build deck on this is a little bit special too. It is a single coil RDA. It is 22 millimeters across. You get different airflow options as well. You get these little cassette pieces and you can um, bring it right down to a true, true mount to lung RDA as well. The airflow options, it is a, uh, the one that's in it there at the moment, if you can see that there, that's um, five mil by two mil. Um, you also get one that's a one and a half mil circle hole and then a 0 0.8 mil hole as well. Um, so before I go into any more details about it, let's drop down and have an up close and personal tour with the Salex RDA. Okay guys, so when you get your Salex RDA from Eden Mods, it will come in a little tub just like this. So you just pop that open like that. Inside you do get the RDA itself, we get an Allen key, and you also get, if I can get that out, your little user guide, and we get some spares. Inside the spare bag, you get <coughs> your different size cassettes for your air hole, ranging from your mount to long, slightly more open, and then you've got the fully open one that comes pre-installed. You also get a squonk pin, some spare seals, and a spare set of group screws. So, if we have a look at the RDA itself, so on the top then we do have a 510 drip tip, uh, previously we are used to having the white drip tips but this time we've got a black one. Now we also have this ring with the dimples that is the AFC on the Trillium and on the Rose etc but on this one it doesn't move but it just adds a nice touch. On the bottom then you do have a Salex, your version number and your 510 pin. So then if we take the top cap off, see on the inside there you do have a little bit of doming going on. I also have the slammed cap as they call it, which is this one here. A slightly smaller, a little stumpy one, but on the inside there's not much difference. It's just this section taken out. It doesn't really seem to make the chamber any smaller. But anyway, so the build deck on this, it's a single coil. RDA. You've got your little airflow cassettes there, so they just pop out just like that. And then on each one, you've got a little ridge along the bottom. The top is the flat side. The curved edge obviously goes on the outside of the curvature of the build deck itself. So you just Pop that back in, just slots down just like that. Your top cap then is held on by these two O-rings and you also have 
these little cutouts on either side to rest your coiling rod or screwdriver, whatever you want to use. Pop it down like that. And on this one, it's a little bit interesting. So you've got this step design where one leg is going to go in there and one leg in there. And then you just clamp them down. And you can have the excess runoff in here. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't obviously have it sticking out. So before I put a build in here, I'm going to swap out the 510 pin. Now, the Allen key that they provide with the RDA is too small. It, it kind of sucks. It, I wish they had have provided the next size up, which you need. Luckily, I do have one myself. So I just unscrew the 510 pin just like that. Uh, it does have a little o-ring around the 510 pin just be careful just to pop that insulator off pop it on to the squonk pin just like that and then pop that back in grab our allen key again Just tighten that down. Just like that. Okay, so now let's get a coil in it. Okay, so the coil I'm going to put in is a little fuse clapton, just like that. Now, remember the way your posts are staggered, you need to be careful and wrap your coils in an anti-clockwise um, manner just so that this side corresponds with the high leg and this side with the low leg and it will just sit in just like that also just the way the screws come in if you've got a, a, any sort of a wide coil in there at all it's not really going to fit quite well the best thing to do is if you get a flat toothless um, pliers just twist the leg of your coil just over to the side and then the same with the other one it just means that it's going to sit in a bit easier in there so I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the excess there as well so there we are, we've got our coil in place, tightened down. You can see the way we do have a little bit of excess running along here and along here. It, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, the coil then I've got positioned so the air is going to come through our little cassette there and hit the bottom half of our coil and come up. So we just need to give that a little bit of a pulse get rid of all our hot spots that's it perfect okay so we just need to feed our cotton through there now grab a tweezers with a helping hand pull that through just like that now obviously you've got little channels either side there to put our cotton down so what we want to do is take our scissors and just snip it just about there same on the other side just about there and then we'll just thin out those ends a little bit okay so we have our cotton all thinned out we just need then to tuck it down into that little well
just like that. Same on the other side. And that's it. We just need to give it a little swank. You see the juice coming up. And although these big posts are big chunks of metal in there, you do still have quite a lot of room for that juice to come up. Saturate the cotton. Obviously, if you do over squonk, it is going to come out there. Well, as you can see, it is coming up to the top of the cassette there. And we don't have any leaking just yet. Make sure that coil is well and truly saturated. There we go. Pop our top cap on. This is the slammed cap. Line up the airflow. Grab our drip tip, pop that on, that's it, ready to have a little vape. Okay guys, so that was the quick up close and personal tour around the Salex RDA. Now I do have the slammed cap on there at the moment. and This thing is, is fantastic. Um, I love the vape, I love the draw from the wide open um, airflow cassette. Um, as I did say, this ring here that doesn't move on the RDA, it is quite similar to the AFC ring on um, the Rose 3. Um, they've kind of kept that theme going through all the products, uh, from the Snapdragon right through to the Salix, which is a nice touch, it really is. It's It, it brings um, a uniqueness to the brand, I suppose. Um, the flavour of this thing while it's not mind blowing it is very 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 good and um, the build deck as well is fantastic I really really like the way you've got the staggered post design and you can pop your coils in not to worry about the legs being too long and um, you can always just bend it up and snip them off it's nice and easy to build on and um, it, it just performs fantastic the build quality of the uh, quality of it is great and um, it's heavy even the the top cap the original top cap it's it's a heavy chunk of metal it really is and um, let me just swap out the um, airflow cassette and I will we'll put in the smaller one I'll pop that one out just like that it's so easy to do this and um, as well it's dead simple as long as you get the little grooves right and then you can just pop that in just like that so I've got the smaller um, of the airflow options well not the smallest but the smaller one uh, the middle one I suppose uh, the one and a half millimeter so pop that on so you can still direct lung vape this but it is restricted it is very 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 restricted and it is nice I do I do like that one my my favorite so far is the, is the wide open one though I have to admit um, pop that one out and if we pop in the mount to lung this is the true true mount to lung vape so let's pop that one in if I can get that in the grooves just right there we go pop that in so that's the 0 0.8 mil airflow cassette pop that one on so it is a true true mount lung vape like that not my preferred but um if if you do like a true mount to lung vape um 
it, it's fantastic it is really really great so I'll just pop that one out and uh, flew over there somewhere but I will get it in a second I will pop back in the wide open one because I do enjoy using this RDA wide open so I did get this one um, at Vapefest, I picked it up um, on its soft release at Vapefest um, a while back and um, while I was there as well I did bring my original Rose 3 and this is how good the, the guys at Eden Mods are um, I had dropped this tank and the chimney section had sort of jumped the threads so it wouldn't come apart no matter how I tried um, they gave me a few tips on how to do it, I couldn't do it myself Brought the tank down there, left it with the guys for a few minutes, and boom, it's back and it's working great. And it's one of my most used tanks that I've got. Um, I do love that one. But this RDA as well is it's it's fantastic. Um, they're going for around about um, ninety pounds in the UK. Um, there's various different vendors now um, who have them in stock. The slam cap, I think that is um, twenty five pounds if you want to get it it doesn't make a whole lot of difference it only makes it shorter and stumpier um i do like the look of it um i do like it shorter your the way that the top of the top cap kind of stems up your mouth is a little bit further away from the top of the top cap itself so you're a little bit further away from the heat of the top cap and i do prefer that myself It's a really, really nice vape of this. Um, so if you want to get your hands on one of these, I will pop a couple of links in the description below for you to have a look at and get your hands on one. Uh, but from me and the Salix, that's all I've got time for. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, and we'll catch you again soon.